Church family, a long time ago, several months ago, I asked you if you knew that somebody would be more likely and more willing to come to church if all of us wore masks for the whole service, would you be willing to do that? And almost all of you said that, yeah, you would be willing to do that. Well, we've kind of gotten away from that a little bit, and I've heard word that some would like to come, but they would just be much more comfortable if we all just put this thing on our face for the service. Well, why not do that? You know, it's, it's really no skin off our nose, literally, right? Unless you've got a really sharp mask. So I want you to consider that, please, for this coming Sunday. Um, what, what, whatever you think about masks or the virus or whatever, um, consider your brother and sister who want to worship the Lord with us. But if that's a barrier, why not just take that barrier away? It's really no big deal, right? So I would ask you to do that. Uh, for this coming Sunday and for the foreseeable future as we worship together and seek to honor the Lord and put our own preferences uh, aside for the sake of one another. So see you this Sunday. It's week two of the series Being a Born Again and we're talking about the means of new birth, how it is that God takes somebody from darkness to light. How does he make somebody born again? That's this coming Sunday. I hope to see you then, okay? Love you guys. Bye-bye.